Hey, hello, Jacob here, with a post bi week slash week 13 Minnesota Vikings preview. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, the Vikings are coming off of their bye at 8 and 3 and are heading to Seattle to take on the Seattle Seahawks. <sighs> there ain't no rest for the wicked, is there? Yeah, I don't know if you know this. The Seattle Seahawks are pretty dang good. And have been for a while. And, uh, yeah, Vikings, if you really want a statement win, this would kind of be the game to do it. Especially considering the last time we beat Seattle in Seattle was 2006. It'd be kind of nice to get a win up there, too, and assert our dominance as part of the NFC's elite. And also, before we move on too much further... Wish everyone a happy and safe Thanksgiving. May your day be full of football, food, and family. So yeah, back to the game. The real big keys to this game are... A. Stopping Russell Wilson, which is about as easy as... Well... Trying to stop a two-ton bull charging straight at you with you... Wearing nothing more than, you know, a piece of red cloth. <laughs> Just, uh... yeah. The dude is an MVP candidate every year. Just, there's not much you can say. This guy's a Hall of Fame quarterback, and he's done so much for the Seattle organization, and just... He could probably have a group of, like, third and fourth string receivers, JV receivers, high school receivers, college receivers, and he'd still find a way to, well, toast you. <laughs> he's just that good of a player. Not to mention, he's actually a really good human, too. So, yeah, the real test is going to be stopping Russell Wilson. And also doesn't hurt when he has like six foot five, six foot six receivers who can run four fours. <laughs> yeah, so secondary, you might want to be on your toes for this one. And also, um, I don't know, play a little more physical. Because that has always been one of Xavier Rhodes' strengths. And I just don't know if it's because of the way the NFL is these days where they don't really like physical corners anymore or whatever the case might be. But yeah, secondary... This would be the week to show up, please. I mean, it'd really be nice to have a secondary again. You know, preferably one that doesn't get burnt to a crisp. But anyway. <laughs> Plus, how will the injury to both Harrison Smith and Anthony Harris linger? Plus, Adam Thielen's back, so that'll be kind of nice on offense. And speaking of offense, Kirk... Cousins versus that nasty defensive line. Holy crap. Yeah, Seattle has been known for having good defensive lines. This might be one of the better ones I've seen. I mean, they have former first-round picks in Ziggy Ansah, Jadavian Clowney, for crying out loud. You know, Jaron Reed. Just, they have some studs on the D-line. Let's just put it that way. Secondary, though, on the other hand, is not as great outside of Shaquille Griffin. You know, so if we can get a little bit of time offensive line to find our receivers, like Diggs and Thielen and Ola B.C. Johnson, might not be surprised to see a little Laquan Treadwell, Irv Smith, you know, if we can find the matchups here. You know, and just give what the defense gives you. Because the defense, outside of the D-line, I mean, it's still solid, but it's nothing like the Legion of Boom days. Yeah, so, as I said before here, the real thing is going to be trying to stop Russell Wilson on offense and those receivers he has. The running backs, which are, I mean... Chris Carson has had a really bad fumbling issue this year, so if our defense can, you know, stop him and, well, essentially karate chop the ball out a couple times, maybe get a couple turnovers, that'll be really huge. You know, and plus also, 
Can Kirk Cousins continue the narrative of actually beating good teams? Because the last couple weeks, like last couple of uh, primetime games, he's shown that he can, uh, well, show up. <laughs> Unlike his earlier narrative. So I'm not expecting us to win this one, just being honest, because, well, it's Seattle in Seattle. <laughs> However, though, as I said before, nothing is impossible. The Vikings have one of the better teams I've seen in a while. A quarterback who's now trending upward, who finally has found himself, I would say. Kirk Cousins, these last few weeks, I mean, ever since the Chicago game, has really turned it around and has really found his strength. So... Eh, you know, so stopping Russell Wilson, they're just trying for the love of God to stop that pass rush, you know. Obviously, try not to test like Bobby Wagner and KJ Wright because those guys are pretty dang legit linebackers as well. And then special teams, you know, just the usual field position and field goals. And I will say, though, Dan Bailey has looked a lot better this year than he has last year. As I said before, it's kind of nice actually having a punter who knows how to, well, hold. <laughs> yeah, so. Again, do I expect us to win? Honestly, no. Can we win? Oh, yeah. I mean, the, the, <laughs> they're not, it, it's not like the vaunted Legion of Boom days, as I said before. But you still can't take these guys lightly because they are the Seattle Seahawks. A proverbial NFC favorite year in and year out. And like I say, if we beat Seattle, we have a fast track in the NFC playoff picture. I mean, I'm not saying we're going to overtake the Packers per se, but definitely puts a lot more pressure on the Packers. And, you know, we'll be sitting there riding high. However, though, as I said before, the loss wouldn't be the end of the world because as of now... The Vikings, uh, you know, basically the NFC playoff picture is pretty much what it's now. The six teams, honestly, obviously there's going to be some jockeying of positions there. But for the most part, I really don't see the Rams, really don't see the Bears, really don't see the Panthers. You really almost have to go 12-4 and four just to even make the playoffs this year, which I feel the Vikings can do. But... Go out there on Monday night and play your butts off. Give it 100% the whole time. And we'll see where the cards may lie. So as I said before, this is Jacob. And again, happy Thanksgiving to you and yours.